returning, the Indianapolis Department of Public Works will have 80 salt trucks treating city streets. Uh, they'll focus on bridge decks, overpasses, and the major roads. Indy Snowforce viewer will start in about an hour at 11 o'clock. There you can follow along with DPW's progress. We have a link at wishtv.com. Tried to rain closed down roads, even forced some Hoosiers from their homes. Yeah, Wish TV's Tim McNicholas is tracking the impact of the storm. He joins us live in the mobile news tracker with more. Tim. Yeah, let's start off with some good news. A lot of the main arteries in and around the city are actually looking pretty good right now. I want to flip this camera around. We are on I-65 South. You can see it's pretty dry. If only all the roads were this clear all day. Let's take a look at some of the video we found earlier. From the backyard to the front, uh, this no, Hancock County home is surrounded. It's pretty frustrating. Justin here is the owner, and much of that water over his shoulder poured in from Buck Creek. It's kind of been like the perfect storm as far as uh, ice, snow all melted, and now we've had flash floods. That perfect storm also hit Columbus, where the Green Tree Senior Living Center moved about 60 residents out of the building. The staff said a nearby retention pond could cause flooding, and they asked family members to pick up the residents. In Southport, police say multiple drivers got stuck in the water near Stop 11 in Sherman. City workers shut down the road, but not before Art Temple tested the waters. It's a judgment call whether you want to put your car through it. Mm -hmm. uh, Today I made the judgment call to, to go through it, and I got through it okay. This driver in Johnson County wasn't so lucky. Firefighters say they rescued three people from this submerged car after the driver lost control on Morgantown Road. Hancock County officials offered sandbags to residents, but sandbags can't solve Justin's problems. Using a rental pump right now okay. that's taking care of things, and we've got it pumping uh, out to the street right now. Now, lucky for Justin, he owns that property, but he is not staying there. Not tonight, that's for sure. A spokesperson for IU says the Bloomington campus also ran into some flooding issues today. The staff had to shut down some pedestrian bridges. Some roads were temporarily closed, and there was even some minor flooding issues in a residence hall. Reporting live, I'm Tim McNicholas, Wish TV News 8. Yeah, Tim, and uh, it's also getting very cold out there. I think we've dropped almost 30 degrees since uh, at the height of today. Are, are you feeling it out there and seeing any effects of slick roads or anything of that sort? Not on 65. I'm going to flip the camera around really quick one more time. You can see it's pretty clear out here, but that's not to say that this is the case all over the city. I'm sure that on some of these side roads and even some of the, the, the arteries through the city that had some flooding today, I'm sure there will be some slick spots. That's something the morning commuters are going to want to look out for. Good to keep in mind. Tim McNicholas, thanks so much. Stay safe out there.